Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch. If you are new to my channel, my name is Taylor and I come to you from Baltimore, Maryland. And on my YouTube channel here, I create content that features my knitting and spinning. I am also the host of the Thread to Men podcast series of videos where I upload longer format content for you to enjoy while you are spinning and knitting yourself. That's where I share more current projects and things that I'm working on in real time. In this video, I want to feature my Penguono, which is a design by Stephen West. It is a garment that I made several years ago and yet for whatever reason never truly featured enough here on my channel and I wanted to share with you some of the details of how I constructed this garment and a couple of the things that I wish I had done better in the process. I'm going to step back and kind of model this garment for you so you can just get a look of how it fits. So yeah. I'm going to spin it around. This is a garment that you can wear in two separate ways. I most often wear it this way, although I do like in the way that I was wearing it previously, these Yelp, Yelp? Welt. There's no right way to wear this garment. Previously, I was wearing it upside down. And if you want to give it a right side, wrong side. Right now, I am modeling this garment upside down. And one of the reasons why I like to wear the garment in this way is that it shows off the welt design here at the front. And I really do like this speckle color that I chose to cast on this garment with. If you're not familiar with the construction of this design, it is knit from the bottom up starting with the back panel, and then you pick up stitches along the side to knit the front side, and then you pick up stitches along the other side to knit the other side, and then you finish it off with the um, collar, which I'll show you once I flip this garment over, and then you finish it off with an I-cord edging. This is a huge garment. It's one that took about 12 skeins of yarn. And before I flip it over, I just wanna show you how I knit my welts by holding two of the same color together here in this caramel, and then two of this golden here, and then one of each color held together in the center welt so that it gave it a little bit of a gradient effect. Now, I knit this garment by holding two strands of DK weight yarn held together throughout. All of it is 100% merino superwash yarn, so it is very bouncy and squishy, but it is also heavy because of its worsted spun quality. So it is usually something that I put on over other knits that I'll wear on the couch while I'm knitting or even wear to bed at night when it's really chilly in the winter. It is also a garment that I will wear outside of the house when I want a sense of comfort, typically on those days where I wish I could just stay inside and wear my pajamas all day, but I have to approach the world, I have to go work my job, or I have to go run an errand. I love wearing this garment because it feels like I'm wearing my pajamas, but I don't lose any sense of confidence like you might leaving the house in sweatpants or something like that. So I'm gonna flip it over and show you how I typically wear this garment. You might have noticed that the way I was wearing it before, the sleeves were very, very long. And when I wear it this way, the sleeves are much more regular. <laughs> so I'll step back for you to see. And I'll just go ahead and model it again with it right side up. As I mentioned, I knit this garment using two strands of DK weight superwash yarn held together, and the majority of the yarn that I knit into this garment I purchased from Webs. If you are not familiar with Webs, it's a great place to get a discount if you're buying bulk yarn. And there was one time long ago where I binged on a ton of Madeline Tosh yarn that I got at a fairly good price from their website. 
I also collected a couple skeins from our honeymoon when we visited Circle of Stitches in Salem, Massachusetts. And I got this gorgeous chartreuse skein at the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival one year at a good discount. Um, but I unfortunately cannot remember exactly who made this yarn. I know that this gorgeous lavender gray color was Sweet Georgia yarn that I bought at that shop I mentioned, and all the other skeins, this one, this one, this one, the back skeins, this gray contrast color, all of these skeins are Madeline Tosh. So um, I will try to find out what those colorways are and update my Ravelry project page if they're not already listed in case you're curious to know which colors I used in my Pinguono. I did knit this garment with a suggested needle size and according to the pattern's instructions. There is a couple of things that I wish I had done slightly differently, but they are not related at all to the pattern design. The first of which is the I-cord edging here. I regret not doing this corner area a fair bit looser than I had because it seems to kind of curl the corners either in or out depending on how it is being worn. And I don't know if that's just the nature of the fabric or if it's specifically because it's a little tight in the corner there, but I think that if I'd done it a little looser, it would sit a little bit more flat. Now, the second thing I've pretty much remedied, however, it's possible it might come back again. When I wove in my ends, I really only wove them in a couple inches from the edge. I did snip off those loose ends before filming today, but I wish I had woven in my ends way further in towards the center of the setter, towards the center of the garment. Um, because when I wear it and it folds out, if any ends are poking out, they are visible. So had I just left a longer tail and wove it in, maybe six or seven inches in towards the center, I think that I would have a cleaner and nicer looking finished garment. The last thing that I wish I had done better in knitting this was paying more attention to the right and wrong sides of my sleeves. When I switched colors to knit the cuff, I made a mistake. And I wonder if you can see it already. It's right here. I did it on the wrong side. And so they are not quite identical. <laughs> It's a very minor mistake, but it's one that I can't not ever notice whenever I put it on. So I'm trying to let it go, but also realize that, you know, knitting is never absolutely perfect. I think there might even be another area where I messed up the moss stitch the slightest bit. You can see there, I'm a... I'm just telling all my flaws. This is my Penguono, and I wonder if you've knit your own, if you're working on one right now, or if maybe you're inspired to knit your own. It's a really good stash busting project. However, I want to say I'm really glad that I used the exact same weight of yarn throughout. You can mix weights of yarn, but one thing you might want to think about in doing so is this bottom hem here. So after you've knit the sides, you add a bottom hem. And if you've mixed weights of yarn across the side, when you knit this bottom hem, it might not be a straight line like you see. It can kind of push this line in and out and be a little bit misshapen. So that if you're wearing it in the way I had worn it previously, that might be very noticeable across the front of your sweater. A couple of the things I love most about this design is its dramatic color blocking, its total freedom in marling yarns and creating your own fabric, as well as that gorgeous contrast two color I-cord edge. So that's my Penguono. If you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video, please do leave them in a comment below and I will be sure to respond. I want to thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It is so helpful and supportive to me here in growing my channel. And you're welcome to find me on social media. My name is Taylor E. Owen on Ravelry, Instagram, and Twitter. I would love to see you on any of those platforms. And I hope that you have a really good day. Thanks again for watching. Take care.